so now I have my pieces cut. I'm going to go ahead and lay this out and weld it together and I'll show you how to do this. So we're going to start off by using, I have my straight edge here. I've got this mounted to my table and what I'm going to do is real quickly, I'm just going to lay out two pickets. And I'm doing that just because I want to kind of see where I want to put my crossbars. There's no real uh, specifications as to how you need to do this as far as the spacing. I usually like to eye it and then use just a little common sense on what's going to be secure. And what I mean by that is this is going to be my straight my hor my horizontal piece. I'm just going to set it there and I'm going to set the top one up here. And I'm just going to kind of eye this based on the piece. Now usually I don't like to come any, up, any farther than six inches up simply because these are security bars and it's not too secure if someone can reach up top and pull it apart and climb through. So I'm just going to go ahead and go six inches. So I'm going to measure six inches from the bottom here. It's going to go six inches up, boom, set that there, push this one up to six inches, and I like that. That looks good to me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, make a little mark here, real quick and I'm going to do the same up here. I'm going to measure six inches down. That's where I'm going to have my crossbar. Double check it and then I'm just going to draw a quick little line here. Just real quick. Now I know that this is square because I have these two pieces mounted. These two pieces are crucial. I know I've said this a couple times now, but it's very important that these pieces are square because this is what you're basing everything off of. You can just do this real quickly and set these against the edge. So now that I've got my lines built, start or drawn, I'm going to move these pieces out of the way. I'm going to set these pieces back down because we're going to weld the bars on top of these. There we go. And if you want to, just to be sure, uh, if you're a little animal kind of like me, you want to take your square, make sure that everything is square. There you go. Those are square. Now I'm going to take my pickets, and see, I like to work as quick as I can, and for me to be able to work quick and not secure these down, I'm just going to grab most of these pickets here and I'm going to gently set them on there and I'm going to use set these kind of set these pickets out on top and I'm using the weight of the pickets just to hold these in place so they don't move around so now I feel pretty secure pretty safe that these the bottom pieces aren't going to move around because there's a good bit of weight holding them down and now I can kind of eye my pickets and space them out where they need to be now to do the spacing, you can pre-cut some 2x4s or anything you have that will leave a 5 inch spacing. I'm lucky enough I have this piece of scrap laying around that just happens to be 5 inches. And you, I suggest you getting a longer piece because that way you only have to have one piece. If you have a, a short piece, say if this was only this, this long, then you know I can't just set this in the middle. I'm going to need two pieces to put on either end. So I like to use just one long piece that I know that's five inches long, or five inches wide, and I can just kind of set this on the end, and set a picket closer, and I know that that's going to stay square. Okay, so now that I have my first picket in place, I've welded all the sides, now all I have to do is move up the spacers, push the next picket down against them, and move on down the line one step at a time until we're ready for the mount.